original strain, you know, mm. of Jamaica. I don't know. I don't know how many ones know, but a professor at the university, what his name? Marshall. Yes. Marshall. Yeah. He was the first one who I heard with the information that Jamaica is the only country in the Caribbean that is surrounded by the Caribbean Sea. Right, right. Yeah, everywhere else, either the Atlantic or the Pacific. Or the Pacific. Mm, 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 mm. But no matter which one, I'm, Jamaica is the only one where it's surrounded by the Caribbean Sea. You know? So yeah. the land streams in Jamaica should be, you know, fairly regional. And the geographical indicator, the flavor of, of it should be specific. Absolutely. Yeah, because it's unique in that yes, regard, yes, you know. Yes, sir, yes, sir. So, true, true. we have been searching all over the world to see mm -hmm. if we can find back ourselves, you know. Because the, um, the powers that be, the treaties that be, have demonized I and I mm -hmm. in a way where no one is tall though, you know? because that's what we know. These are the tropical herbs, you know, the one that don't need light, you know, mm -hmm. to grow, you know, and okay. um, and agree with this type of a climate, you know, and systemic. Um, behaviors like from the United States and so that paid money mm. to get rid of our herb, mm. you know, while they can say states can plant it, but it's legal at federal judgment. Gotcha. So, yeah, so we actually some special person in the states, mm. I remember his name right now, but he shared these seeds with us, gotcha, you know, and. The plant is finding its way. Mm, mm, nice, yeah. glad to hear. So, we're going to put the first one actually into the Caribbean soil. Jeez. Yeah, it's so that's, yeah. Right. Special no, moment, man. Yes, I. So, in the search for ourselves, you know. Bless. So, for the benefit of the community that may be watching this, yes, sir. where are we, sir? Who are you, man? What, 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 where in the world are we? Yeah, Jamaica for sure. We're in Jamaica. And um, I call myself first man. Um, mainly because I'm interested in original thought. Not creating them, but being a part of the source, you know. So that's why I call myself first man. And this space that we're in is Rastafari Indigenous Village. And it's a space of education, awareness. It's a space that is looking to have the conversation mm. um, like the journey of Rastafari to see how we can occupy the planet together as mm. human beings. Mm. So here we share the philosophy of Rastafari which is a philosophy of one love which is, is a philosophy of coexist or non-exist but it's a, 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 a philosophy that also discuss the contributionism mm. of the black people you know because Equity is going to be based on truth. And if we don't look at what Africa has contributed to the world, then we're not going to be having the conversation in any equal way about anything. It's not anything that is prejudice. It's just about the truth. That's right. So that's what this space has sort of been preserving, the truth, you know, while expanding our love to all mm -hmm. human beings. And I think if we just speak the truth, then no one will feel uncomfortable but where they fall in the chronological order of their contribution. Mm, mm. Be it the white, the Chinese, because we have all made this planet what it is. Mm. So this space is a space that have the conversation about how we can evolve, mm -hmm. you know, the concept of separatism as something that separates us, but as something that actually celebrates us, you know, that our differences can mm. be something mm. that we celebrate and have a, have a gathering about and not something that, you know, so this space is sharing the different uh, healing methods of mm. all people of the world. Right. Anything right. you know and that can assist mm. because you will be assisting yourself, mm. you know. So that's the essence. So this is Rastafari and Indigenous Village in Montego Bay, Jamaica. <laughs> nice, and nice, nice. Yeah, we're there with all our bridging them, family of the earth, you know. Yeah, that's man. Like. That's a king. So how long have you been here doing work in the community? 
We have been here probably like about 13 years in mm. this process, you know. I'll come down yeah. Um quite possibly well this journey didn't start with this property that we're on, you know. Mm. This journey started with um moving around because the issue in Jamaica is that we're landless. We're landless because of the of, of the fact that we also never accepted Jamaica as our mm -hmm. home. Mm. And our mission is to repatriate and go back to Africa. So we sure. seek no ownership here. But however, we have created ownership here. You know, like this island, as I say, in contributions, mm. we own this space, you know. However, our journey uh, has taken us probably over 20 years. We started this mission from mm. about 2003. <coughs> we have been on it until we met the owner of this property and yeah we just started to we found a, a, a true jamaican who was interested to share you know and this is why we know that beautiful people are all over the world because not mm. much people love to share with rastafari you know true, true. <laughs> yeah at the moment rastafari is is in a process of lobbying because a police officer um, has been alleged to, you know, cut the hair mm. of, a, of a Rastafari woman, you know, young lady. Mm. And funny, funnily enough, it was exactly the same time last year that the schools of Jamaica declare that the rules of the school with states mm that if they want children to cut their hair and that's the school rule mm -hmm. that it must happen a, a, the, a court of Jamaica declared that last year so you know the progress mm -hmm. in terms of our human rights mm -hmm. in some areas in this country is still uncivilized you know yeah. I understand yeah. so you know people around the world who are wearing locks <laughs> and feel comfortable and you're mm. accepted in your home the country that has <laughs> the country that has given this vibration to the earth mm. so you say i can choose a the one there oh you're bridging gone with my own man <laughs> yeah. yeah man no i i it i choose yeah, yeah. that i only difference the choice <laughs> yeah 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 so so let me ask you because it's obviously up until present you've mentioned you know challenges with Rastafari in Jamaica could you just give us a little insight into Rastafari and what how that's relative to this community here okay well <clears throat> This community focuses on education and awareness. And it's mainly because of our studies, mm -hmm. you know, that we have done in relation to how can we be a sovereign community, mm -hmm. you know, to own our own herbs and to see things the way how we see it. And we are totally convinced that over time, it is the ignorance of the onlookers, the observer, not knowing who we are and why mm, we do what we mm, do, mm. as to why in 1954 they destroyed the first Rasta village. In 1958 they destroyed the second one mm, and they mm, were not mm. happy. So in 1963 they asked all the people of the country, including the police force and the army, to go and bring in Rastafari dead or alive. Whoa. On that particular day, if someone went for a Rastafari person mm -hmm. who had no issues with this person and that person killed a Rastafari mm -hmm. person, on that day you would, you would get be away, legal yeah. to murder a Rastafari person. Oh. So that's our journey. That mm. has been the let journey. Me ask, let me ask you though, what, what, what was the inspiration behind that? What was being suggested that the problem with Rastafari was where they would want, they would call that out there to say, yeah, dead or alive? The issue was that we we wanted us, we wanted our sovereignty. So, for example, Rastafari never accepted England 
That's mm. our mother country. Mm. You know, so the rest of our people are saying, uh, go away with that, you know? Mm, mm. Africa is our mother country. So we became a political endurance okay. to the to the Willy Lynch mm, mm. mentality that was being placed mm, on the people. Mm. Uh, so one moment. You want me to put back more dirt in the car? Me did I dig it deep because I think said she don't come all the way up. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so put back some in there. Yes, sir. Yeah. So it was really about that. It was really about the fact that we started to decide the way how we eat. Mm. We stopped flying the Jamaican flag and we choose our own colors. Mm -hmm. And then their children started to find us attractive because we were free. It's very easy to see light when you're living in the dark. Mm -hmm. And then this started to happen now all the way across spaces like Europe that was so dark in systemic behaviors, you know, just this light mm -hmm. just came shining through mm -hmm. and it was Rastafari mm -hmm. and it was saying you can be free, you know. And, and oh, everyone, the <laughs> so they didn't like the fact that these enslaved people mm -hmm. were claiming freedom mm -hmm. and liberating themselves, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So it became a systemic uh, approach to, to quench Africa mm -hmm. and to quench anything about Africa that would be detrimental, you know, to their mindset, you know. So as owners of the African reality, mm -hmm. which is not a historical one. It's a past, present, and future. So in this present reality, we decided that this space needed to educate people mm -hmm. about who we are. Mm -hmm. So that the three Ps, we can preserve, we can protect, and we can promote the relevance of our culture nice. for this day. Nice, you know, nice. Why is it necessary? Yes, you know. Y'all get a wet for us, Rasta? Yes, sir. This cat look very comfortable there, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. He's a young lion. You know? <laughs> yes, sir. I, I did a tell Sean about the wetting. Mm -hmm. And I make him know that he's there teacher about the wetting. Yes, sir. Yeah. A nice place to grow, yeah. moist and yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I. This mushrooms thing. too. Mushrooms like <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 they like the moisture. Nice. Yeah. On yeah. that note, God, let me say on that note, I'm, uh, that's what I'm here in Jamaica. You know, one of the main reasons I've come, you know, I've, I've visited and revisited Jamaica, and what's attracted me here is my awareness of what's happening with the, you know, the increase of interest in mushrooms on the island for several different reasons. But one of them was a conference that took place recently. You know, I'm aware that the university and the government are looking into ways that they can utilise mushrooms for many different reasons. Mm -hmm. um, I'm aware that a lot of people think that this is a taboo subject still mm -hmm. and you wouldn't find it in Jamaica mm -hmm. unless it's being provided by primarily Americans, Canadians and British folks that are involved in the business side of things. So... Do you have any awareness of what the current climate is like in Jamaica when it comes to mushrooms and, you know, the ideas around that? What's your involvement? How do you feel about it? And very interesting question, I think, is how does that connect with Rastafari? Because traditionally, that's not something that I've mm. grown up hearing about. So I'll be cu curious to know how that's mm. weaved into Jamaican culture as well as Rastafari, yeah, if you could a, share. Yeah, it's a, it's a, um, you know, it's... I've seen a lot of people coming around the world, you know, from mm. around the world, and because of the light of Rastafari, they come mm. to study, mm. you know. And when you study a way of life, then you're talking, once you're saying a way of life, it's almost nomadic, you know, which mm. means that we move with time and with mm. nature, you know what mm. I mean? Mm. So, what exactly are you studying, you know what I mean? Because we are evolving, we are growing, you know. But because of this museum um, type mentality, they don't see the living culture type mentality. I feel you. So the, the youthfulness of Rastafari, yes, because Rastafari in terms of connecting to that name, Rastafari mm. is not a hundred years yet. You know? okay. So it's a very young movement, mm. but because mm. it's steeped in ancient, mm. yeah, mm. everyone mm. just have it in a way like they, they think that we are frozen in thousands of years of history. 
when in honestly we are, but in reality we are not. Understand. You know? um, honestly we are in the sense that we embrace the thousands of years of history that serves us now in this mm. present time. But in that reality, we are still evolving ourselves, you know. So when your children are your leaders, when you try to preserve a culture, you're really preserving it that your children can have something better for tomorrow. So there's no way you can just be so totally fixed. Mm -hmm. But I think the issue came up with this space. This space became a flag that Rastafari never necessarily had before. And it is called Rastafari Indigenous Village. Mm -hmm. Now, indigenous communities all over the world have connected to Rastafari. I've gotten a lot of hope from Rastafari. Mm -hmm. However, there is no way how to connect to Rastafari. So they, when this flag came out, mm -hmm. they started to come into this space. Right, we started right. to meet people from all over the world that are indigenous. Mm -hmm. We connected with them, we share herbs with them, yes, and it was all great. But then it was time for them to share herbs with us. Yes. We're like, no, we don't know anything about ayahuasca, we won't do that. You know, we don't know anything about Iboga, we won't do that. Mm -hmm. We know nothing about mushrooms, you mm -hmm. know, South American thing, you know. Mm -hmm. However, those people are losing their lands, those people are losing their culture, those people are facing the very same issues that we are facing, mm -hmm. and then we start to sound exactly like the oppressor. Because now without knowing what mushrooms are, without mm -hmm. knowing what ayahuasca is, we are discriminating only because we don't know. So, as a, as a man of integrity, mm -hmm. yes, yes, I decided that, well, let's try it, you know. So, of course, a group of Brazilians came into the space, and then that was ayahuasca. And what that did, that made us and the earth became physically one, mm -hmm. you know. The uh, 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 cannabis, for the majority of us, gives us the knowledge that mm -hmm. we are one. But these psychedelics gave us the vibration mm -hmm. and the full connection of feeling that we are breathing the very same oxygen that the trees are breathing. Yes, that you could feel a life in the earth mm -hmm. under your foot and the heartbeat and, yes, and all of that cannot be denied. Yes, you know, so once Jamaica has a motto one time, it said, once you know, once you go, you know. It's the best mm -hmm. same thing I'm telling you. you know? I, can't, I can't say to my Rastafari community, I can't say to my African community that there is right or wrong. Mm -hmm. All I can say is that once you go, <laughs> you know. So you can take a trip yeah. you know, and see what it has done for you because what it has done for myself and what I've seen it done for my community mm. is show us, all of, all of us, as to how we can connect with our neighbors mm. to show us how non-human entities have a voice and a right to be here and can speak to us in many different modems mm. you know and and, and 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 platforms as well so it has also shown us that we are not the one leading the conversation only that the plant is directing big corporations and mm. putting it putting in its own proof of concept but everybody is running around as if they are the ones doing it, you know. So we see the intelligence in the plan to open up eyes and to, and to allow even the same big corporations to become mm. vehicles mm. for knowledge and awareness and promotion mm. of the sustainability of this non-human entity. So that's how we get into mushroom, only by the experience, mm. yeah? but not necessarily by the... Phil and also by the philosophy of Rastafari, yes, which is... One love to all living. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Well, it's funny you say, well, it's not funny, it's synchronistic you say that because, you know, growing up, psychedelics, mushrooms, those things there were not something that I was familiar with or partook in. Mm -hmm. But the main thing I did get from it was that it was what the white hippies were dealing with yeah. and they were promoting peace and love. Yeah. 
And I had to come back and say, yo, after all that, do we not need peace and love in our community? <laughs> Wouldn't that be relevant? <laughs> you know, like we can easily point fingers and say whatever, but you know, that was the main, ah, oh, they're going around hugging trees, you know, all them things there. So what I gathered was that it was connecting or reconnecting people to nature. I always, even where I'm from, I'm, I live in London, the concrete jungle, and I always have to remind my students that we are nature. We don't need to go back to nature. We are nature. We are, but what I've understood is that many people do feel disconnected from nature and then they utilize the fungi and the plants and it supports them in reconnecting yeah. but let me ask you something because this is a man who's working the land yes, <laughs> as we talk so when you yeah man so when you're when you're when you're plugged in so much to nature already just by default by default just being born in jamaica you're connected to the land and places that i've been traveling recently i've seen the people in the land go hand in hand you know they come from the soul they'll go back to the soul so what and how would psychedelics support you in understanding these things or having these experiences if, if you're already connected to it well it makes you be the connection it's almost like you have become meaning you know Mm -hmm. You're no longer. It's not. It's not. It's not a the, It's not a philosophy of logics. It's a philosophy of vibration. Mm -hmm. It's it's who you are. Mm -hmm. You know. It's a it's a it's a deeper kind. It, it's almost like. How would a woman be able to tell you everything about pregnancy? Mm -hmm. You know, even you are the doctor and you are a, what do you call them, gynecologist. And so you can never truly know mm. what the physiological menstrual mm. vibration feel like. Mm. Mm. You, you can't know what it is the urge to be eating all the time when you don't want to. You don't know these things, yes? Psychedelics allow you to know. It's no longer your logics. It's the meaning. It's who you are. Mm. It's not something that you have to explain it's something that you have now become yeah so no one can take that from you it, it, it's logical that if you push a person and mm. they fall they are going to hurt Psycho psych psychedelics allow you to push and feel the hurt you feel exactly what you have done to that person mm. so now you are totally connected with your actions and the, 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 the consequences mm -hmm. of your actions. Mm -hmm. So, can you imagine, after feeling the heartbeat of a grass, I, was, I stood in one place, I didn't know how to walk. <laughs> because <they're> like, <laughs> it's living, and I'm going yeah, to step man. on it. You know, so there are things you have to get over. Mm -hmm. There is no doubt about that, once you get the connection. You know, because, yeah. yeah, I felt like I could stand in one place because everything now is alive, mm -hmm. and I'm going to hurt it. Yeah, yeah. You know, but then you realize that you are also being used mm. by nature because you're a part of nature mm. as well. Yeah, and yeah. you then get into the loop That's of right. your contribution. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so your value can be placed into mm. the walk that you walk, you know? Nice. So yeah, I think that is the important part of that connection, <laughs> you know? But, nice, yeah, man. For real. <laughs> Yeah, because I always say, you know, you know, I just I say it in jest, but I think, as they say, many true words spoken in jest. Yeah. So you go to these summits and conferences and they're forever talking about the healing potential of these psychedelics. For example, PTSD, depression, anxiety. And I think the as well as addictions, you know, dealing with addictions and other forms of trauma, which I think are really important because myself, people that I'm connected with are challenged by these things. But what I ultimately feel is that where these plants are from, naturally organically these people don't have anxiety depression ptsd so what are the plants for then if they're not for you know that because maybe it's a preventative measure so you're in an environment where you're not going to end up with depression anxiety ptsd but i'm curious to know like what is the relationship you feel that goes beyond you know just a medicinal benefit of psychedelics people don't want to hear that answer i know, you know? because in all honesty these initiation processes that are a part of indigenous communities you could die you know and a lot of people they think that every in because our interpretation of dying in mm. indigenous community and in western life is two different things you know what i mean so everybody who takes psychedelics in in some of these places they want a better job you know and mm. they want people to be there to preserve this fact that something may not happen to them you know and that they what are you trying to stay in mm. you know this system where someone has put you in a box 
So when you go into mental spaces and you look at the people there, they are not considered to be teachers of this product of society now. Mm -hmm. They can't comply, so they are, they are now separated instead of being viewed as okay what can we learn from this yeah so they are not teachers in this space mm -hmm. they are victims not because they really are it's just that they have stepped out of the box of hypocrisy you know and because they have stepped out of these box of hypocrisy and really you take those very same people mm -hmm. and bring them back into the original into the indigenous space yes which has been happening with the heroin addicts with all of these other people that i've seen it they come mm -hmm. into the space it's not just about the, the, the psychedelic because the psychedelics is connected to something, a network that is you. As you said, you tell all of the, your students that mm -hmm. they are nature. Mm -hmm. So it is the disconnect from these words, mm -hmm. words, which is the first medicine. It's the words that have been fed to the people. Mm -hmm. That has been that medicine of destruction. You know, the songs, you know, mm -hmm. the things that come out of the parliament people telling you what you can and cannot do. Those are the, the, the things that mm -hmm. have created this concrete mentality of the people. This does not exist in the indigenous world. In mm -hmm. the indigenous world, there is no problem that belongs to an individual. Mm -hmm. The problem is of the indigenous <laughs> people. You know, they don't sit around and say, oh, I have a personal problem with my girlfriend. Or it's a problem of the community because your girlfriend is the community. Mm -hmm. Your, your, your every role is interconnected with that. So in all honesty, when we um, choose to serve medicine to people, it's about, you're not going to get no new job. <laughs> we're, we're asking you to go on a date, mm -hmm. to meet one of your neighbors. Yes, a blind date. Do not go there with the baggage of your son mm -hmm. that is not behaving themselves. Do not go there with the fact that your mother has died and you can't get over it. Go without anything in your mind because you do not want to bring baggage to the mm -hmm. table. And of course, all the psychologists that I work with did, but it, it helps people uh, who want to commit suicide not to commit suicide. Well, okay, yeah, I hear that. These are these byproducts mm -hmm. that, but it's not original to the indigenous space or time. Mm -hmm. These are just things that, it, that the medicine is reaching out to do. But if you take it to the original space, it is about a relationship with nature. Mm -hmm. you know? That's where it, 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 it is too plain and it is too simple. It's what transformed the cognitive reality, the revolution of human beings and their memories and how they can advance mm -hmm. and how they can understand. It's a teacher of the human beings in the relationship with life and land. But when you are ambitious into becoming an engineer and all these other type of things that are outside of this relationship, then it's reach the medicine has to reach for you. Mm. You know, yeah, the, the experts. You know, so it has to take you out of PSD, mm. take you out of depression, which is all it is doing. It's not really taking you; it's just giving you a memory of you and a path to walk there. You know that you're in this mm -hmm. falsified space that you don't net the, and when you take this medicine you are remembering something about another space because it's a human world that you are connected to while mm -hmm. there's another world mm -hmm. yes human beings you go to these countries europe and so like where are the insects <laughs> like, that was one of the, it uh. popped me up i was in italy and the only thing that made me know that mm. I was on the planet still mm. was some dog shit that I stepped in. It was gotcha. the first time I was so happy to step in <laughs> dog shit. It's like, well, yeah, yeah, man, I'm oh, still on mm. earth, you know, this is shit, you know? Yeah, man. So sanitized, mm. you know? Mm. Yeah, yeah, damn doors open when you walk to it, you know? We don't do anything. We are disconnected with ourselves and mobility. Mm. Yeah, so I think it's just a reminder, you know, that it is doing and because it activates that memory gene. You know, people are coming out of depression and they're seeing things another way, you know, and, 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 and this is why the whole integration, you know, conversation that's come with mm -hmm. these medicine. What are you integrating people to do? 
you know, to become a better nine to five. Mm, uh, that's right. First, what does integration mean, mm. you know, in these conversations if you're applying indigenous to it? Because for us, it's just simply to integrate with what is. Nice. You know. Nice. Oh, brother, I really appreciate this yes, because I, um, yes. one of the main reasons I set up this platform because it goes on YouTube and Instagram and thing, and it was basically to have and sh see and share people that look like myself and yourself having these types of conversations, especially about psychedelics. Because if you was to tap that in on the internet, you're not going to see many people like us having yeah, these yeah, mature yeah. conversations. Yeah. Normally, it's going to be very negatively, you know, loaded in that regards. So just to give you a little insight, because you're stepping in the shit, remind you of home <laughs> is what this platform is actually called it's called talking slop yeah which is also <laughs> called talking shit and that's because i'd been to all of not all but a lot of the high-end conferences and seminars on psychedelics and i didn't learn as much as i've learned from when i just talk shit with my people you know just yeah, yeah. organic conversation yes. <laughs> and people might be offended at times when you say talking shit but for me i know that shit is very divine yes. because without shit we don't have life we don't, you know? shit, we don't have mushrooms. You yeah, know? See, <laughs> see, <laughs> oh, you understand, you know? <laughs> shit, yeah, you know man. Yeah. So, Most definitely. You know, I, I, I look at that shit thing very deep, you know, it's, and, and it's hard for me to say this when I'm not having a meal, you know? Mm. But, um, <laughs> no, it's a very interesting conversation because of how it defeats hierarchism. Mm. To mm. know that something so special and that can allow you to understand deep geometrics and all these type mm. of, of things can really come from cow shit <laughs> that's 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 that that, that to me yeah, is creates a level playing field for existence totally, you know totally. and, and 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 you know shows me clearly mm. that i should give no more ratings to my face than i give mm. to my ass mm. uh, you know? so it's it's, yeah. it's very important yeah, man. You know? one towel <laughs> yeah <laughs> And I always tell people, if you don't know, you need to know. <laughs> and um, be reminded that you're just a big piece of shit too. You know? <laughs> and that's a compliment. You, you're yeah. bacteria. Yeah, yeah. I think Nereri was the one. This philosophy, when I met him first, is that as long as you know that we're all full of shit, mm -hmm. then we can start the yeah, conversation. But yeah, you turn man. up as a fucking expert, <laughs> yeah, man. this conversation yeah, man. makes no sense. But I as long you. as you know that we're all full of shit, <laughs> we're, that's it. That's it. <laughs> I feel you that. Know, I we feel can that. move on. It, mm. It's possible now to, to move on, you know? Mm. So so bro i really appreciate the sharing yes, i know man. you're you're planting up yes man. transplanting I finished doing it. this was a symbolic planting oh. you know as i say we give thanks for the yes. the brethren for a sister that we know um called cheyenne yes. um she brought these over mm. you know she has come to this community and she saw our efforts you know Mm. And she got this man who said they, she has this land race from Jamaica that he has been preserving for a long mm. time. Yeah. And then I'm smiling. The US, <laughs> right into her yeah, space. So I know the trees are yeah, within man. two times my height. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah. So we are joined. You know, it looks like they really do love their own mm. side. You know, mm. so mm. we give thanks to that. Yes, sir. They remember. They, they, <laughs> <laughs> they remember for sure. They remember. No, Memory so activated. <laughs> So before we sign off and we might load up and later on our checking with others, how can we find out more about what's happening here? How can people connect with you? Is there a way people can do that? Yeah, um, Rastafari Indigenous Village. We're really on the net, you know. Mm. It's a little searching, a, mm. a bit. I mean, you will always see it. But our number is 285-4876 or 1876-285. Mm. 4750 so 1-876-285-4750 mm. and then Rastafari Indigenous Village mm -hmm. at gmail.com all right, right? nice and nice. um we have some supporting platforms Iritz JA um is one of our Instagram page it speaks to um uh, a festival that we, mm -hmm. we, 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 we conducted and COVID put an end to it called Iritz. You know, it's a place that just bring in our people, mm -hmm. and our food, and mm -hmm. our world, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and now we are launching Recreate, which is our psychedelic focus 
um, relationship in this particular space. Nice. Monthly, we do have mm -hmm. um, psychedelic um, uh, gatherings, mm -hmm. a tribe, you know, nice. of people. And we're looking forward to have the great Darren at the end of September <laughs> yes, to yeah, share the knowledge, you know, um, of our uh, indigenous equity in the mm -hmm. psychedelic mm -hmm. relationship, mm -hmm. you know. You always, I myself, always thought that it was, you know, really South American. It is mm -hmm. the eye yeah, and talking slop <laughs> that would have allowed me to know that this shit is <laughs> with me too, you know. So yeah, man, answer, it's I part mean. of our story too, yes, most sir, definitely, yes, man. Yes, nice, yes, nice, man. <laughs> <laughs> we love it, my brother. Talking right. stuff, it was a pleasure. All right, bless up. Yes, I give thanks.